Hello V Squad and welcome back to another episode of V Girl TV. Welcome back guys. Welcome back to my canal the YouTube and I am back with another video so by the title of this video I am quite sure you guys already know what this video is about <sighs> crazy story crazy crazy story about something that has happened to me and I was not aware of until I actually got to New York so I'm gonna share this little story with you in hopes that it will help somebody else out there and so that it doesn't happen to you because this is something that I completely didn't even think about and if I didn't think about it I'm sure there are plenty of people outside who wasn't thinking about this either so backstory I left to Panama back in 2014 okay but being in Panama I would go back and forth and because I, I wasn't working here in the States I never filed for or I did not file for it taxes fast forward to 2019 the great pandemic hit i could not leave panama usually like i would come back in the summertime and i would go back and forth no biggie right no biggie until this time something crazy happened i was well i am a victim of identity fraud you heard me right i am a victim of identity fraud and this is something that can happen to anybody, but when you are an expat and you leave the country and you fall off the radar, this is something that can happen to you. So in this video, I'm just basically gonna tell you about what happened, how I found out, and how to prevent something like that from happening to you. So as you guys know, I could not come to New York because I was stuck, literally, in Panama for a whole year and so I finally come back I have my sister not really a reliable source um, I love her dearly but my sister is not really reliable um, and she had told me that I had gotten a bill for Verizon and I'm like why would I have a bill for Verizon I know I don't even have a Verizon account I have never had a Verizon account so I wouldn't I didn't understand why I was getting a bill from Verizon well not even a bill it went into collections okay I had a bill from collections from Verizon saying that I owed over a thousand dollars for whatever the situation was um so I said okay I'm gonna take care of it. I'm gonna take care of it. I'm gonna take care of along those lines there are things that I do want to accomplish and I said to myself you know I set goals for myself that is something that is super important guys set goal set goals for yourself by setting goals for yourself, you are able to see exactly what you want to do, what, exactly what you want in a life, and you can start to put in place um, the steps so that you can achieve those goals. So I wrote a list of a lot of things that I wanted to do, and a few things that I wanted to accomplish, especially with me coming back to New York. I remember I went, I looked at the bill, I said, okay, it was like a weekend when I seen the letter from collections, and I'm like, okay, Monday's going to come, I'm going to call these people, I'm going to find out what's going on. Fast forward to Tuesday, okay? I got a call from my accountant saying that someone claimed my child on their taxes. And that automatically set a, a light bulb and I'm like, oh my God, there was a bill from collections. I need to figure out what's going on with this. Obviously, we know it is identity fraud on my child's behalf as well. So people, parents, if you have children and you are traveling, and you are going under the radar with your children you need to follow this as well my accountant is like call me after 11 and we'll discuss what further actions we need to take i'm like okay no problem but in the meantime i remember that i had a bill from collections so i said okay let me call collections this collecting collections department and figure out what the heck is going on and why they have me down there for a bill for verizon that i never had a bill for verizon i never even had an account with verizon so I call them and they tell me, hey, you have a bill. Um, you haven't paid your bill since 2019. 2019, I wasn't even in the States. So I was just like, sir, I don't know if you got me mistaken, but I don't have an account with Verizon. I never had an account with Verizon. Not, I don't know what is going on. So he gave me the information to contact Verizon. 
was on the phone with Verizon for about four hours. Come to find out my identity was stolen by someone who had cable in my name since 2014 to 2019. The whole time I was in Panama, someone was using my identity to get cable and God knows what else is in my name. So I immediately start to panic. I'm like, oh my God, th this has never happened to me. Customer service, Verizon, they kept transferring me to a, a automated machine that kept on getting disconnected, but I finally was able to speak to a supervisor and she was able to direct me in the steps that I needed to take to correct this situation. I had to file a police report, call the credit bureaus and let them know, put a fraud alert on my account. Right now I'm waiting for my credit report to see what exactly is on the on the credit report so I can go through it and see what damages they have done to me. Um, but I did check my credit and they did some damage. Okay, they did they did some damage. While this was going on, you know, the process of getting everything done or the process of even having to deal with something like this was so annoying. It was kind of like, why? Okay, how could you be so silly Shayna, how could you be so silly and so naive to not realize that something like this could happen? Obviously, I was in the state of shock um, while I was going through this whole process. I felt like it was so annoying and it was more so like I was just so angry. I was so angry that someone would violate, violate me like this and I don't even know who the person is. Did everything that I needed to do as far as contacting the police and getting medical rec medical records, getting a police report. Um, I'm actually going down there today to actually get the copy of the police report because once I get the copy of the police report, I have to attach some documents and mail it over to Verizon so that they can do their investigation and figure out who was behind this scam and whatever else, okay? The good thing is about New York State is that once you file the police report, if there are additional things that come up on your account, you can bring whatever it is to the police and you can make amendments to your police report. So, for that, I'm super, super, super grateful. The only thing is that you have to do it in person. So I'm hoping that everything comes before I leave so I can take care of that. But what can you do to avoid something like this from happening? If you are going to leave the country and you know you're going to leave the country for more than a year, make sure you put some type of um, credit monitoring services on your account, okay, to monitor when someone if someone is pulling your credit or whatever the case may be so that you are aware if something like this happens. If I knew better, I would have done the same thing, but I was just so caught up in the moment and so excited that I was starting this new chapter, it went through my mind. So I know for a fact, if it went through my, someone out there it's probably slipped your mind as well. The next thing that you could do is if you have children, if you have children, okay, and your children are going with you as well, monitor, monitor their credit as well, okay? It costs like $4 a month, okay? But guess what? The $4 a month is so worth it, okay? Because dealing with the back ends and the possible damages that came or that could come behind something like this, $4 a month seems like it is nothing, okay? The next thing that you can do to avoid something like this is to leave someone in charge, someone responsible of your mail, okay? In my situation, I was never getting mail for Verizon to my address, which to me, I'm just like, wow, Verizon, you guys really slipped the ball on this one. How are you gonna send mail, okay? Not even mail, how are you installing cable or whatever it was that you were installing to an address that's not even mine? And then for some reason, the collections people had my correct address, so they sent me the collection bill to my address. But when the service was going on, it didn't come to this address, which was so weird. So Verizon dropped the ball. So what I would say is ensure someone trustworthy to go through your mail for you, um, just to see, you know, what kind of mail you have, what, just so that you could keep an eye on what's going on, because baby, this is not a cute situation. Another thing that you can do is if you know where you're going to, for example, if you know that you're going to be in Panama, sign up for a mail forwarding address so that you can get your mail in Panama. Trust me, it'll save you a lot of headaches. It will save you a lot of headaches if you had access to your mail because apparently this has been going on from 2019 and has been sitting in collections 
for the longest time and I was never aware of this. So with that being said, yes, make sure that you have your ducks in a row. Another thing that I would suggest that you guys do is to monitor your credit, okay? Don't think that just because you are leaving, you don't have to go in and check your credit. So for example, if you don't wanna sign up for the monitoring service, you are entitled to a year free. Well, every year you're entitled to a free credit report. Take advantage of that. Take advantage of your free credit report that you are entitled to for a year. I didn't do it, okay? Silly me, maybe even ignorant of me to not do it, but silly of me, it happens. Anyway, guys, I hope that this video was helped you. Um, I'm still going through the identity theft process. So as I go through the process, I will be updating you guys with more information so you guys don't fall into the same trap. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you for tuning in. Peace and love.